the positive impact of smart technology on kids in the present and the future. We deliberately speak our dialect at home and she speak uh, Finnish language at our school. She has been able to learn English by watching educating yeah. at home for children. And actually she inspired this. As the world evolves, technologies and the way people also learn evolve. There are a lot of activities and distractions nowadays that for people to sit down and you know take a grasp of books and all that it's almost impossible. The positive in impacts of smart technology on our kids is mainly uh, linguistic. Math apps and uh, language apps and uh, apps that help Help kids learn. learn numbers, you learn colors, you learn, learn uh, different uh, the letters and that, all that kind of stuff in English. In development of children high Q, technology has really, you know, helped children in, in the sense that it brought the application to within their reach. They don't need to go out there to, you know, to operate any application. So children have an access even at home to be able to use the smart technology. Sometimes they operate it themselves because they get familiar with how the system works. In the value added era where you can see kids, young people becoming very smart in how to undo things that even older generations cannot undo. In fact, family life, it gives us a moment to do other things while they watch. Yeah, at the same time, we should not um, look down on the negative side of the, um, this smart technology. It influences more than we think, I guess. It influences so much. I don't think all the influence is positive. I don't. I think there's a lot of negative influence as well. It's really good that parents monitor the children, how they use it. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm positive about that. There are negative side of the usage of technology, smart technology, and there are positive side. One of the ways to ensure that children benefit really positively is yeah. when parents can team up together with the monitor. It's like I, I don't see the smart technology. It's it's uh, I don't say it's too different from traditional stuff like playing outside and then there's playing with video games. Both need to be monitored to some extent. I think um, smart technology has a promising future. If properly guided, it will influence to a higher degree. Smart technology makes you to learn on the go. It increases the abilities of people, kids, to learn. They are not uh, handling something concrete. They are moving abstractions on the screen. So I'm... Well, I'm not sure if we can see the impact on that at the moment, but in the future, I'm not sure it has it has had some some impact on, on the kids. Technology, smartphone, tablet, that increased the rate of learnings of kids by 27% when they did research of an average of 11-year-old kids and for 13-year-old kids about 17%. For three-year-old kids, about 17% increase compared to, you know, traditional ways of using books and all that. There is a lot of interesting thing that smart technology had added to the livings of people here in Finland, Europe in general, and you know, it will always be like that because right now they're they're learning to be the future uh, doers, managers, uh, and teachers. They're going to be teaching the next generation after them. Right now, they're learning that learning should be fun. Actually, when you think about it, learning should be fun. Now, when they get to the point when they pass on their knowledge, they will have different kinds of tools. They will have, they will have different kinds of concepts on, on what learning should be and how the information should be passed on and how, how the next generation can be taught. It's... It well, it's, it's so dependable on how it's used. 
and, and how it is used is dependable on the parents. When we have kids and we have a topic and we want to teach them something and we'll just throw in the books. <laughs> okay, read this. But now we're moving on to a different kind of uh, concept of teaching and learning. Where we just, we, okay, we may have the books, but we have different kinds of uh, other materials as well, like like iPads or, or just games or entertainment. And then the kids go, okay, so this is fun. I'm, I'm excited to learn this. And sometimes school can be really tedious and super boring. But if it would be just a, just a teeny tiny bit less boring, I don't know, should we see uh, less dropouts, uh, less social rejects, I really hope so.